Hi everybody, it's Malia from Max Fan Fun. I am going to finally review the January Etsy bag along with February. So I'm very behind on January and very ahead with February. So I just got February in the mail today and we're going to talk about January first. So this is the January Etsy bag and this is what it looks like. Um, as you can see, it's got like a purple fur uh, outside. It looks almost kind of Easter-y to me, but I don't know. Pink zipper and then green edging. And I have my card for that over here. And so this is called the Girl Gone Glam bag. And the first product, hopefully I have all of them in there. Let's see. Um, looks like I do. So, the first product we'll talk about is the Murad Hydro. Got to read it. Dynamic Ultimate Moisture uh, Jar. And this is a rich yet lightweight skin saver. It uses shea butter, sunflower, sesame seed oil, coconut, fruit extract, and avocado oil to help moisturize the skin. So here's the box that it came in, but the product itself is kind of on the small side. And um, this is a Murad product, like I said. And Murad is okay. It's not bad. I think it's all right. Um, for me, it's just typical, but if you bought a full size of this, it would be $79. So that's the first product in the January bag. The second product I have on right now, and it is the Rebel Eyeliner Pencil. And you can see it's pretty dark if you're looking at my eyes. Um, when I first used this, I actually use this twice now, so I must like it. Um, I'm not too picky about eyeliners, but this one seems to be pretty good. It's a little slightly smudgy since it is so dark, but I think it does a pretty good job. Um, and I like the little logo with the hand and the heart. You may not be able to see that, but I think that's cute. Um, yeah, when I first tried this, I was like, oh, I need to sharpen it. And I started to look to see if I had something right here to spin it up, but you actually do use a sharpener for it. But the the part near, um, like right here is so hard that it was like, it almost felt plasticky. The whole outside of the pencil feels like it's like covered in a plastic, but it sharpens fine with the typical, um, with the typical sharpener. So, and then we have, oops, I'm getting in the wrong bag. I'm losing my mind. Okay, let's go to the next product. I was a little disappointed when I saw the Pure, Pure Leaf product in here. I said, saw the BB. I thought this was a BB cream concealer. Sadly, it was primer. I'm not a big fan of using primer. I don't think it does a whole lot for me. So it's worth $28. And that eyeliner that I just showed you is worth $17. It's a pretty good eyeliner. Um, but anyway, there's your base primer. And it is supposed to uh, give you a glow to your skin. And I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a big primer fan. So I wasn't too excited about that. And, you know, Etsy loves to give out lip serums that are just that. Lip serums. Nothing too exciting here. You want a little shine to your lip. This one had a slight color like what's on the outside of the tube. And of course you can't see that. I just put it on but I'm putting it on over red lipstick which is not included in any of my bags. <laughs> I got that somewhere else. But anyway so this is worth eight dollars and I'm guessing let's see. Okay it says a full this is a deluxe sample so a full tube might be a little bit bigger than that. And that is um, a VO skin okay and then the beauty vault and mascara in black I meant to use this today and I didn't okay that lip gloss does seem to have like a little tingly something in it I don't know kind of like a minty aftertaste like barely I can taste something 
Anyway, I should have used this eyeliner too. Maybe I should just put some on. Ooh, I've already got mascara on, so it's kind of sticking. Anyway, I think I used this the other night. That's yeah, okay. Pretty good. I like the shape of the tube. I kind of like that square look. Hey, Jerry. Look. Jerry wants me this to see something. This says my name on it. Yeah, that's a different Jerry, but yeah, it's your name. That's mm -hmm. what. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's his name. Okay. That's He's into, uh, cool. And he's into looking up places um, on Google Maps. So, like, he just looked up Dairy Queen a minute ago, and he was amazed that he could see the building of Dairy Queen. So, hey, whatever floats your boat. Uh, Beauty Vault Mascara in Black. This is a good-sized tube. A full size of this is $18. So, I thought that's pretty cool. So, probably my favorite item in this bag would be the Rebel Eyeliner followed by the Mascara which that usually is my top choice in bags, is mascara and eyeliner. I think I knocked something out of the next bag. I did. Okay, let's take a breath. I feel like I'm rushing through this. Okay, so we, add, we do have two bags, so, you know. All right, look at the next bag. This is the bag I had today. I do like that. Um... I can't remember what they call that. There's a word for it. Hydro something or another. Anyway, that's cool. And there's supposed to be some meaning behind this, but I didn't read about it. Anyway, look at the heart on there. I love that heart. That's like the best part of the bag. So, and the inside is a dark, like it matches the heart. It's almost like a chocolatey brown. Okay. And so, January's bag is called Your Love. I mean, February. February's bag. I'm stuck in January, obviously. It's taking me forever to get this stuff going here. Okay. All right. Let's go over the Formula Z Cosmetics and Mini Highlighter. Oh, is that what that was? Because I use that with my eyeshadow. Maybe I should do that. So, Sparkling Champagne Highlighter is your glow on the go with next gen hydro ingredients to help skin soften. To help keep skin soft and application smooth, spritz your brush with setting spray or facial mist to crank up luminosity. Okay, so this is a deluxe sample and the full size is $12. Okay, so I feel kind of dumb because I did use that on my eyes. I guess you can use that on your eyes too. Whatever. I mean, it still looks good. Of course, I used other eyeshadow too. So, that's that. And yeah, I did like the Estate Cosmetics Mystic Forest Eyeshadow Duo that's next. Except that it looks like everything else they send me because Ipsy is not creative when it comes to mixing things up. And you cannot see on the camera that this looks like a gold color, but it is. And I almost put that on today, but as you can see, I have silver in my little scarfy thing. and. I didn't want to make silver and gold, so I didn't. Okay, so this is $6 for one of these. Pretty cheap. It's by Estate. And uh, it says you can use the matte shade all over your lid and then just dab the gold in the center. Maybe I should take that advice. I don't know. I hate using matte eyeshadow. I like it all glittery. I was very happy with the next product because I used it back in the day because I'm old. Back in the day, I used to use this. Remember when I came in, and I don't know if it still does, but this product comes in now. But this is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Okay, so mm -hmm. you guys remember this from back in like the 90s? If you're as old as I am. Back when I was a teenager, I used to think I was big stuff. My grandma would get samples of this, and they came in a little square-shaped container, but I loved using it. I like Clinique, so. And a full size of this product is $32.50, so you can get this at the mall. Oh, do those still exist, malls? Yeah. I guess you could get it on Amazon. That's where everybody else gets everything. Okay, so for the first time... Um, I do not have the Intense Liquid Eyeliner by Kali C. I 
put that in my um, niece's birthday bag for her. She likes liquid eyeliner, and I don't care much for it. So um, we're going to celebrate her birthday, and I had gotten her gifts already, but I thought I would throw that in her birthday bag. So you won't be seeing the Calice Intense Liquid Eyeliner because I don't have it with me right now. It's in her bag. Um, I did look it up online. It's basically pretty standard, and uh, the color was like a cocoa powder. And that valued at $22. <coughs> and so that was also in the bag that, like I said, you're going to miss it. Next product wasn't too bad. I wish it was a little darker. And this is the last product of Pill Cosmetics Ultra Cream Lipstick in Muse. I do like the way it looks. It's kind of uh, different. And the color is kind of your typical color for NC. They are convinced that that's my color. So I've got like a million lipsticks in that shape. There you go. And that values at $21. So that's the bags. I know I wasn't too excited. The clinic thing was kind of cool because I don't get clinics much. So I was very happy about that. And I guess maybe, I don't know if I'd say that was my favorite product in this bag. I wasn't really overly impressed, so maybe so. Maybe it was. If the lipstick would have looked just a little darker, that would have been my favorite because I really did like the way the tube looked. And that's about it. So... I hope everybody has a great Valentine's Day. As you can see, I am, you know, all Valentine out today. And, you know, for a long time, uh, especially during the time I was sick, I would not wear, uh, what are those called, stiletto heels. But today, I think I'm going to rock the stilettos and my black flats and my sweater and my earrings and my scarf. i try to look nice today. But anyway, I hope you all have a good day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.